Hi guys, in this lesson we're going to be talking about Newton's first law. Now trust me, it is super easy, just pay attention. So I want you to really visualize this. Close your eyes if you have to. Imagine you are busy cycling on a flat, flat road and you're trying to keep your speed at let's say 20 kilometers per hour. If you don't pedal, what will happen to your speed? Well, you will slow down. If you pedal too quickly, then your speed will increase. So what would you have to do to keep your speed at 20? Well, your, your, your pedaling would have to be in a specific way. So, so, so your pedaling mustn't be too slow and it mustn't be too fast. What is it that's trying to slow you down? Well, remember in, in, in high school, we don't look at air resistance, so that's not something we're going to look at. It's the friction on the road, between the road and your tires, okay? That's trying to slow you down. And what's trying to speed you up? Well, that's the force of you on the pedals. So if you want to keep your bike going at 20 kilometers per hour, those two forces must be completely balanced. If the pedals become more than the friction, then you'll start to speed up. Then your speed's going to start going 22, 23, 24, and so on. If you stop pedaling, then it's only friction acting on you. And now all of a sudden your speed's going to start slowing down. So it's going to go 18, 17, 16, and so on. But if you want to keep your speed at 20 kilometers per hour, your forward forces must be the same as your backwards forces. That is what Newton's first law is all about. Now the next part I want to talk about is, let's say we've got this object hanging from the ceiling. Okay, so this is the ceiling. And then here we've got some object. Now let's say it's just hanging there. That means it's not moving. That means that all the forces acting on that object are balanced. Now what forces are acting on that object? Well, there's gravity that's trying to make it go down. But then there's the tension in this rope. And so we'll call that FT. That's something we haven't looked at yet. FT for tension and FG for gravity. If those two forces are balanced, then the object won't move. So we can now summarize Newton's first law. But remember, I'm summarizing it in my own words. You need to use the definition that your teacher is giving you. And so here it is, guys. Now remember, my definition is very close to the normal definitions. I just like to phrase it in a way that is easy to understand. So it says that an object will remain at rest. So remember, this object is at rest. Or it will continue to move at a constant velocity, like this guy on his bicycle, unless the forces are unbalanced. So if the pedals, or if the force of the person suddenly becomes more than the friction, then the person will start accelerating. They won't move at a constant velocity. If we put a heavier object over here, and let's say that this rope cannot stretch any further, then the rope will snap and the object will start accelerating. So let me read it again. An object will remain at rest, such as this one, or will continue to move at a constant velocity. Velocity is like speed. And if it's constant, remember 20 kilometers per hour, unless the forces are unbalanced. And so that's all I want to talk about in this lesson, Newton's first law. And so thank you for watching.